have been uh, looking at our park statistics and they are down a little bit this year. Uh, we're about 13% down for the for this year. Uh, that's kind of trending with what the last uh, five to six years have been. We've been going down a little bit in visitation. Uh, not exactly sure why that's going on. Uh, speculation is that perhaps it's because of all the other activities going on, other places to go, uh, like Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, uh, all the other areas that have uh, local attractions. Uh, could be the gas prices are going up. Uh, we, uh, you know, we're up over 350, 360 a gallon for gas, so that that probably affects people's travel. Um, also, believe that uh, you know the economy not being exactly where we'd like it to be, and, and some people are just not able to travel when maybe three or four years ago they were traveling. So uh, all of these factors uh, likely have com come together and, and just kind of caused a, uh, a reduction in the in their visitation here at the Big South Fork specifically, but I believe that's happening in a lot of the parks around the area. Uh, I know I see some things about uh, our neighbor to the south down at uh, the Great Smokies are having some visitation downturn as well. So, But I think uh, those are probably the reasons why we're, uh, uh, we're having this downturn. Uh, we're hopeful to uh, uh, try to entice people to come back out to the parks and come visit the parks. We do a lot of uh, uh, program, interpretive programming, to so bring the visitors to the park, talk to them about the park and all its resources, and uh, we're, uh, we're doing more and more through the social media. Uh, you can follow Big South Fork on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, we have both of those sites. Uh, our website is getting more and more comprehensive. Um, you can find out a lot of information about the Big South Fork. But we hope that once you've found out the information, you come out and visit the park and, uh, and see us in, in the flesh, so to speak.